and everything. Um, I have a new sponsor, which is, which is a GK Gundam Kit. Um, they were nice enough to approach me, ask me if I would do some reviews for them um, and builds. So I received my first package from them today. Really great guys. Um, I know that there were a couple issues in the past with other people. Um, I haven't had any issues. Really great. I do have to say I, I didn't do an actual unboxing of the package itself um, because it was uh, really well taped and really well packed. Uh, it would have taken forever. So I just kind of broke it down. So this um, this I actually purchased myself. Um, I actually wanted this and since they had it uh, it's going to be for my Zaku um, my Shin Zaku which is going to be uh, opposite my Marisai for the the battle scene or battle diorama um, I wanted to have the Zaku having this firing at the Marisai while the Marisai is attacking with um, the beam saber so let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. Um, I have, you know, they did a really good job on, I have to say, this is uh, the best packaging I have actually uh, received from uh, a kit company. Um, next to, uh, I think, like Neograde. But, uh, so let's go ahead. So we've got that. I just cut the cellophane. Um, they have it wrapped in cellophane to keep everything all protected. Uh, very nice, nice, thick, uh, durable box. Um, not just cheap plastic cardboard. So what we have is a couple of pictures which are included with it. Um, so we've got that. Instruction manual. Which I think is uh, actually very well done. Um, flip it over. You know, they've got their own touches on it and everything. So, it's actually a, a really simple build. Um, there's only a few parts to it. So, we've got it in the standard packaging. Um, you know, I do have to say that um, the box is a little big for, for what it is. Um, you know, the parts do bounce around it, uh, do bounce around in it. Um, but taking a look, if you guys end up seeing these and wondering what they are, they're just placement markers for me. So I know what my wide angle shot and my close angle shot is. So I don't end up being all, all funky with it. So here's the bag. So we've got the metal, uh, metal chain, which is the, the ammo chain. Uh, let's see, it looks like the barrel. I'm not seeing any little, uh, usually when I end up getting a kit, the first thing I look at is any little loose pieces floating around in there and I'm actually not seeing any. Uh, let's go ahead and slice this baby open and see what all we got here. So we've got the chain looks to be a nice gunmetal color. It's kind of a stainless steel on the other side. So that's nice. Um, the parts. Uh, very clean. You know, there is a seam line on there. Let me see if I kick this off. If It gives us a little better view. There is a little bit of a seam line. Very, very minimal. Now, of course, you know, the poor plug. No biggie. Um, texture seems to be clean. You know, we'll have to piece this all together just to... Um, just, a, just a little cleanup on the flash. Like there, there. Um, no biggie. Again, no major seam line, no major offset, uh, which is always good. 
um, just a little warp it just a little warpage which uh, some warm water fix that right up um, needs a little clean up around the like the screw head stuff again uh, not a big deal easily fixed um, a big ammo clip um, fairly clean texture very nice This was the main thing I wanted to look at. So we've got that. That'll just pop out. Some minimal cleaning in here. Uh, very good detail. Still kept up in these parts. Uh, looks like a little blemish here from the casting pro process. Um, I don't know if they tried grinding that away or if it was just a um, bad resin spot. But again, easily fixed. Um, still kept very good detail in there and everything. There are a couple spots that look like they've been uh, uh, kind of grinded. Be better if I if I prime these so you guys can see um, some more pore spouts. Again, details very clean um, just minimal minimal cleanup is it looks like it's needed very happy just a little blemish there and I'm not sure let's see here focus this better if I turn off that light So that's actually not, I don't actually have to drill that out, it's just a piece of the mold that's in there. Which isn't, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it's kind of bad for the next person that gets a casting out of here, because um, that hole will be filled up. So not bad, there's some sanding up and stuff. So this is kind of what I've been uh, waiting on, and I know you guys have been waiting for some videos and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I've been waiting for this to take place, and I've had, um, you know, of course my uh, two other projects going on. I have the 172nd Casatria, which is, um, I'm about to start putting videos up on it, um, and then the Griefer. Um, and I will, I'll be doing minimal videos on that, just, uh, just some. Um, and then on here, details are, are really nice. I um, have to get in with some, with some files and clean up some stuff, but it's resin. You know, this is, anytime you buy a, a resin kit, um, you know, even with the, the uh, Neo-Grade Sosby that I have, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have some flash you're gonna have some offset seams um, things like that it's it's part of the game guys um, the barrel there is a little bit of warping it's kinda kinda bending like that um, easily fixable just heat it up um, I don't know if I'm gonna do with this what I ended up doing with um, the the war machine but I, I think I might um, just you know basically removing these putting uh, removing these putting in metal tubes in there so hey it looks good guys all right so that is part one and then later on I will do a video of uh, of the build up clean up and everything on it um, this is my own personal so it's not really uh, not really required by them um, unlike my next video which I definitely want you guys to stay tuned for because it is huge and I'm super excited for it and I want to finish this video so I can tear it open um, Alright guys, stay tuned. I will talk to you later.